excited. I feel very humbled and very honored. I'm thrilled to be here tonight. I, I, I'm overwhelmed to tell you the truth. Amazing. I, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> but I think, you know, it's, it's a nice thing to do. I think it was a great idea. People work really hard all year long to get the Shad Derby, you know, to where it is. And uh, I think this is nice to recognize that. It's a great opportunity to see a lot of people I haven't seen in quite some time. Uh, for some of us, our Shad Derby days go back uh, 15, 20, 25 years. And to be able to see everybody back together like this is great. And I thank everybody involved in organizing this to, for pulling it off. Welcome members and dedicated volunteers of the following organizations. Windsor Rod and Gun Club. Windsor Chamber of Commerce. Windsor JCs. Windsor Junior Women's Club. Windsor Civitan. Windsor Kiwanis. Windsor Lions Club. Exchange Club of Windsor. <laughs> Washington Lodge, number 73 Masons. Windsor Historical Society. Town of Windsor. Windsor Women's Club. Win TV. Windsor Art Center. And the Rotary Club of Windsor, Windsor Locks, and East Granby. Before we begin tonight, I would like to Frank, uh, thank Frank Carmen and the Carmen family for not only hosting this event, but bringing this meaningful event to this place and establishing this place for Windsor. Uh, I did give Frank the opportunity to speak about the lodge since a lot of you, this is your first time here, and he chose not to say anything for the first time. <laughs> Uh, this night was created by the Windsor Shad Fest Bureau in celebration of over 50 years of the Shad Derby Festival and in the true spirit of the festival, which is civic and com community involvement in Windsor. From the early beginning with the Rod and Gun Club hosting a fishing tournament to raise awareness of the growing pollution of the Connecticut River, to members of the Chamber of Commerce wanting to highlight the town of Windsor by starting a festival and parade celebration on the green, this festival is about commitment to community. Today, 15 organizations, including the Kiwanis, <laughs> involved in the Bureau, dedicate time and countless hours to make a difference for others in Windsor. Your organization's countless efforts and stories need to be told. Tonight is the beginning of those stories. Tonight, we as a community honor eight men and women whose contributions through, these, through your organizations help make a difference for all in Windsor. Tonight we simply celebrate, honor, and thank them for their efforts. No speeches, just a sincere thank you from the group in here. They haven't been honored yet. More stories of dedicated individuals you select will follow in years to come as this is the beginning of stories being told. So tonight begins a new chapter and a new tradition in Windsor and for the Shad Derby Festival. Welcome to the inaugural Windsor Shad Fest Honors. Our first Shad Fest Honors honoree is from the Windsor Chamber of Commerce, Donald S. Trinks. The Windsor Chamber of Commerce had its beginning in 1909 and was active until World War II when it, uh, the members had other activities that they needed to attend to. But by 1949, the organization was back on its feet and has been in continuous operation ever since then. The chamber serves as an advocate for businesses in Windsor and um, has a broad scope of services extending to the retail, commercial, industrial, manufacturing, and service organizations. 
The chamber participates in the community um, and actually under the leadership of Frank Parker and Harry Ellingwood um, really enhanced the Shad Derby Festival, taking it from a fishing, a fishing tournament um, and bringing it to being the townwide festival that we know today. Um, they were also critical in planting trees following the tornado of 1979 and they host an annual new teachers reception um, to really help the, the teachers that are teaching our students here in town understand more about their town's history. Uh, the Chamber holds an annual Windsor Chamber Cares benefit auction each April, and for the past 26 years, they've sponsored an annual auction fundraiser generating over $500,000, um, which supports local charities and organizations. I've been on the board of directors for a little over a year for the Chamber, and on and off, of course, in, in public life, I've been involved with the Chamber on many events, and having a small business in town, I rely on the Chamber for a lot as well. So when they asked me to join the board, I thought it would be a perfect match. So it's helped me and helped other businesses in town and, and they get a greater appreciation for what the other businesses are going through as well. Doing the Shad Derby events that I did were the greatest thing a hometown guy could ever do. It was so much fun and the people that I got to meet were just the greatest ever. And again, another reason it's so great to see them here tonight, uh, the camaraderie that we had and, and being part of a, an iconic event in town that I grew up in attending. So in my seven or eight years that I chaired it, we had a lot of good memories, a lot of great stories, and uh, just the great people that I was able to work with. All right, so a little bit about our honoree, Donald S. Trinks. Donald S. Trinks um, has been the mayor of Windsor since 2001. He was born and raised in the town of Windsor. He's been an active council member on the town council since 1995 and is the town's longest standing mayor. He has served as a director of the Windsor Chamber of Commerce for several terms. Don's Shad Derby involvement started as parade chairman, JC liaison to the Shad Fest Bureau, parade marshal, and he restarted the Sheila Schmidt Fishing Tournament, which, has been, which, which had been discontinued for a few years. In addition to many other donations, Don helped develop the first Shad Derby website, converted the Coronation Ball program into a festival program, and in 1993, Don invited the mayor of Windsor, England to attend Shad Derby, and he graciously participated in a week-long series of events. These are only a few of the contributions Don has made to the Shad Derby for the last 20 years. In addition to his duties as mayor, Don has owned and managed Bart's Drive-In Restaurant since 2005. Don and his wife Barbara have two children, Melissa and Rebecca. We are pleased to present the 2015 Shad Fest honor representing the Windsor Chamber of Commerce to Donald S. Trinks. Next Shad Fest honors honoree is from the Windsor Civitan Club, Fran Murphy. The Windsor Civitan Club was established in May of 1962 and is part of an international organization of volunteer service clubs. Its worldwide mission is to build good citizenship by providing a volunteer organization of clubs dedicated to serving individual and community needs with an emphasis on helping people with disabilities. The Windsor Civitans provides an opportunity to socialize with individuals who are interested in working together to find ways to improve the lives of others and help make a difference in the Windsor community. In 1974, Windsor Civitan became the first previously all-male service organization to welcome women as equal members. And some of their annual service projects include the Challenger baseball team, a Shad Derby booth, the Shad Derby Queens float, which is gorgeous, as well as um, Northwest Park booth, cleaning up the Windsor Historical Society, we're so grateful, um, monthly bingo at Kimberly Hall, as well as cleaning up the Riverwalk and Pleasant Street Park. 
Their uh, monetary assistance also helps support local programs and events each year, including the Northwest Park Summer Youth Intern Program, a Windsor High School scholarship, and many school field trips and local charitable causes. I've been a member of Civitan for probably over 30 years. Um, it is a club that I've joined and I really enjoy it because of the things that the Civitan Club does. So it has been uh, very enjoyable being a member of the club. Well, I'm not sure how we got, how we got stuck with, <laughs> with the Queen's Float, but um, I started with the Queen's Float and um, in one year we had, we had to take the Queen's Float down after the, the parade for the, for the centennial. So we had to build another float for the centennial. But uh, I've been involved with the float for all these years and then all of a sudden it became mine and it's in, been in my driveway for all these years. The neighborhood doesn't declare spring until they see the float coming in. And this year we kind of threw them a curve because the float was in the driveway. We assembled it down in the old Artery Chevrolet building. And uh, the other day I was going to a soccer game and one of the mothers who lived in the neighborhood came to me and said, um, gee, we didn't have the float this year. I usually bring my daughters down to have them sit on a float and I take their picture. I said, yeah, kind of threw your curve this year. We changed it to Artery Chevrolet and it's much easier to store it there. And basically it was easier to work with down there. It was closer, you know, and plus we don't have to worry about it in my driveway. <laughs> Fran Murphy has resided in Windsor for 45 years. He and his wife, Marion, of 56 years, have four children and 12 grandchildren. In 2014, they received the Windsor Chamber of Commerce Citizen of the Year Award. Fran is an active member of his church and community, including past president of the Civitan Club of Windsor, receiving the Club Honor Key and Gordon Taylor Awards for Outstanding Service, as well as the New England Civitan of the Year Award. For over 25 years, Fran has overseen the Shad Derby Queens float project. His neighbors would declare the arrival of spring with the appearance of a float in his driveway. <laughs> Other activities include director and coach of the Civitan Challenger Baseball Program, past president of Windsor International Baseball League, sixth grade all-star basketball exchange team, and soccer referee. He is a graduate of Buckley High School and Ward Technical Institute, now at the University of Hartford. Fran retired from Pratt & Whitney after 35 years. He currently works as a professional assistant for Carmen Funeral Home. This quiet, unassuming man prefers to go about his activities without notice or fanfare. He believes retirement is when you stop living at work and begin to work at living. We are, pleased to, we are pleased to present the 2015 Shadfest Honor representing the Windsor Civitan Club to Fran Murphy. Our next Shadfest honoree is from the Windsor Exchange Club, Kristen Hoffman. The Exchange Club of Windsor was chartered by the National Exchange Club on September 17, 1971, making this their 74th year of service in the town of Windsor. The local chapter has been creating and distributing to Windsor residents and businesses the Exchange Club phone book for the past 51 years. Through the sponsorship of their advertisers in the book, they're able to provide a majority of their annual AIMS budget. The AIMS are the giving programs of service mainly focused on the youth in Windsor. There are fundraisers throughout the year. Many of you attended the Oktoberfest a couple weekends ago. Um, those go to help support programs like local salutes to the town's honored firefighters and police officers of the year, the Northwest Park Country Fair, 
the Shadfest Bureau, as well as sponsoring a Shad Derby contestant. Um, on Memorial Day, the Exchange Club hosts a Give a Kid a Flag service project. We like to see those around town. Um, they also help out with the High School Honor Society uh, pins. Um, they help out with the Cape Cod experience for the Sage Park 7th graders, as well as sponsoring the Youth Baseball, uh, Windsor Youth Baseball, a high school graduate scholarship from the uh, Windsor High School, and they sponsor the WLIA. The Windsor Exchange Club is also a proud founding member of one of the first CAP centers in the country, which is Kids Safe CT um, Exchange Club for Child Abuse Prevention Center, which is located in Rockville, Connecticut. All very worthy pursuits, um, and we're glad to have them as an organization here in town. This is my sixth year with the Exchange Club, um, and prior to that, I was with uh, the Junior Women's Club for almost 14 years. Oh, I love it. It's a family. I think just like all the other civic groups, we have our own little a little group, but uh, yeah, they've become my family. And I've known most of them since before I joined the organization, so it's been wonderful. And they just, they welcome me with open arms and I absolutely, I love them all. They're fantastic. What it means to me to be part of the Shad Derby is to be part of tradition, legacy. Um, it, it just, it's very humbling, I guess I go back to that same word, but it's very humbling to be part of such a tradition that's been going on for 60 plus years. Uh, and to work alongside all the folks from all the organizations that have been involved for 40 plus years in, the or in, in Chad Derby. So to work alongside them, it's an honor. It's truly an honor to be part of Chad Derby and to be part of the history of Chad Derby. Kristen first became involved in community service when she was 10 years old, while her parents set up for a community fundraiser at their, high, their local school. Kristen moved to Windsor in 1998 and soon after became involved in both First Town Downtown and teaching CCD for St. Gabriel's Church in the hopes to get to know the people of Windsor. In 2000, she joined the Windsor Junior Women's Club where she was the publicity chair, vice president, co-president, and co-Shad Derby Coronation Ball Chair. In 2012, she joined the Exchange Club of Windsor and quickly became an active member. She has recently accepted the president-elect officer position in the Exchange Club and is working towards becoming their next president. During this time from 2010 to present, she has been active with the Shad Derby Festival. She sits on the Shad Fest Bureau and has been the secretary since 2013. In 2014 and 2015, she was nominated as the Shad Derby Festival co-chair and is also very active in her daughter's school, St. Gabriel's. Kristen took her love of volunteering and in 2013 began working for the Greater Hartford Arts Council as the development and special events manager. Kristen believes due to the amazing volunteers she has been able to work alongside and learn from in all of these Windsor organizations, she is truly blessed to call Windsor her home. Big thank you to her husband Bob and daughter Grace for their continued support and patience every time she runs out the door to yet another meeting. We are so pleased to present the 2015 Shadfest honor representing the Windsor Exchange Club to Kristen Hoffman. Our next Shadfest honors honoree is from the Windsor JCs, Joe McAuliffe. <laughs> Since 1967, the Windsor JCs, or the Windsor Junior Chamber of Commerce, leadership has been giving back, making a difference, and lifting spirits to all residents in Windsor. Literally, lifting spirits in your glasses, friends. During the 1974-75 year, under the leadership of Ed Rudolph, the JCs expanded their membership and were one of the key leaders in the formation of this organization, the Shadfest Bureau, along with the Junior Women's Club, the Chamber of Commerce, and the Rod and Gun Club. Today, 
Their community develop program is the driving force behind the chapter. They conduct many projects to help keep the town of Windsor uh, area vital, including the Windsor Shed Derby Parade and Festival on the town green, as well as the aforementioned Sheila Schmidt Family Fishing Night, their Christmas Tree Fundraiser down in Wilson, their Classic Horseshoe Tournament, uh, Valentine's Day Outreach Project, and much more. Each year, the Windsor JCs donate thousands of dollars to local organizations, give college scholarships to local high school students, and provide no-cost events to hundreds of local citizens, including the elderly, teen, the disabled, and the disadvantaged. Um, some of the events I'm, I'm closely involved with are uh, Sheila Fishing Derby, which is um, a fishing derby done uh, about two weeks before the Shad Derby event on a Friday night and it's in, in memory of the uh, first special ed teacher in Windsor where we have we stock the pond at Washington Park. We have about 50 uh, fishing poles we lend out and it starts about six, ends about eight. We also serve you know hamburgers and hot dogs and it's just a fun family event. Well it's great. Um, you know you, you meet a lot of people and I've met a lot of people over the years. Some people have come and gone from the group and some have stayed. Uh, but you meet all the people in the other civic groups too, and people who work for the town, and it's it's almost like a big family because, you know, when we're setting up the parade for Shad Derby, I do a lot with the parade. Um, the town employees, you know, the guys who uh, move the fencing and move the barrels, move the stockades and everything around, they're just great and helpful. And the firemen, they all know us, and I don't know, it's a big, it's a nice, it's a nice feeling to be a part of something like that. Joe McAuliffe has lived in Windsor for over 40 years. He is the father of twin boys, Jimmy and Tommy, who are currently in their first year of college. Joe is an avid Red Sox fan and has been a Little League coach for many years. He has also been involved in Windsor scouting, enjoying the signature winter camping every year. Joe joined the Windsor JCs in October 2002 and has been an active participant ever since. He has chaired the beloved Sheila Schmidt Family Fishing Derby for almost 10 years and has been the chair, co-chair of the Shad Derby Parade for just as long. We can always count on Joe to run the famous JC Beer Booth. Sadly, his favorite beer, Guinness, is not usually one of the options on tap. <laughs> Joe is the Senior Director of Business Information Systems at Connecticut State Colleges and Universities Board of Regents for Education. Joe is a lifelong resident of Windsor and a proud 1984 graduate of Windsor High School. Joe's passion and dedication to the JC organization and to the town of Windsor go beyond what words can define. We are blessed to have him as a member and even more blessed to call him a friend. And we are pleased to present the 2015 Shadvest Honor, representing the JCs to Joe McCullough. Our next Shadfest um, Honors honoree is from the Windsor Junior Women's Club, Mary Zielinski. The Windsor Junior Women's Club was founded in March 1969 by Mary Ellen Messina with the support of Kathy Martindale and 37 other charter members. Their club motto was, we are juniors willing to care. The club's Shad Derby Shad Wreck dance was popular from its inception in 1971 well into the 1990s and helped raise money for the club's various charitable activities including playground equipment and school supplies for local Windsor students. Along with the family and social events that they hold for their, uh, excuse me, family and social events that they hold for their members, today's juniors contribute to Windsor's community through charitable giving, including Thanksgiving dinners, uh, two complete family dinners for uh, Windsor residents. They also supply 20 large print books for the Windsor Kindred Care Library each month. They are also, this is the biggest one, they host the Shad Derby Coronation Ball, um, which has over 300 people attend regularly each year. And then probably most meaningful for Windsor residents as well is the two to three scholarships that they provide for graduating high school seniors. I've been involved with Junior Women since about 2011. Uh, that's the year that I moved here from out of state. 
and I thought it would be a great way to get involved with the community, learn about the community, and just give back a little bit. Well, I feel that you get a lot more than you could ever give. Um, there's nothing better than to give back to your community in any way that you can, and we've been able to do that in a lot of different ways. And uh, it's been very enjoyable, very enriching, and it's been, uh, I've learned a lot. Well, again, humbled, because it's been such a rich tradition to this Windsor community, and it's just something that I like to see continued. And it takes everybody's effort continually to do such a, a grand event. Mary moved to Windsor just about four years ago and immediately immersed herself in serving the community. She initially joined Windsor Junior Women's Club in order to meet new people. Yet even as a new member, she had a big impact, volunteering to co-chair the annual spring breakfast and taking on a leadership role in recruiting new members. Mary is a dedicated volunteer who goes above and beyond for organizations such as the Windsor Food Bank and the Windsor Social Services Council Backpack Program. She also volunteers for the Windsor Public Library, making book deliveries to patients at Windsor Rehab Center. Two years ago, Mary was unanimously voted in as president of the Windsor Junior Women's Club and has been a strong leader in moving the club towards a secure future. Mary continues to focus on creating an environment within the Windsor Junior Women's Club that is dedicated to the community while encouraging members to have fun. She's always promoting the benefits of club membership and recruiting new members. Mary is thoughtful, kind, and considerate of everyone's differences. Mary has proven that you don't need to be a lifelong Windsor resident in order to have a big impact on the community. She is well deserving of this year's Shadfest honors. We are pleased to present the 2015 Shadfest honor representing the Windsor Junior Women's Club to Mary Zelinsky. Our next Shadfest honor honoree is from the Windsor Kiwanis, Warren Cardone. The Windsor Kiwanis Club was chartered in January of 1966 and will be celebrating their 50th anniversary next year. They presently have 41 members meeting weekly in Windsor and have organized the Shad Derby Road Race for the past 45 years. They also have sponsored several young women over the years as Shad Derby, uh, Shad Derby Queen candidates. They also, in the last four years, have hosted the Shad Derby Golf Tournament and also sponsor a key club at the Windsor High School, a builders club at Sage Park Middle School, and K-Kids clubs at Clover Street Elementary and JFK Elementary School. They keep on going with the giving, including an SAT breakfast for Windsor High School students, the backpack program, for Windsor students, and they organize a canoe race to help the Windsor Food and Fuel Banks, as well as donating to several youth organizations in town. In the past 50 years, they have given over $90,000 in scholarships to Windsor students. Well, it, it's a great honor. I've been uh, involved with the Shad Derby in one way or another since we moved here. We came up from Long Island, my wife and I, 37 years ago and uh, we immediately joined the JCs, to put in a plug for the JCs. And then <clears throat> after you, you know, you graduate from the JCs at a certain age, and then turn right around and join the Kiwanis. So it's, it's been great, and uh, every year I've been involved with the Shad Derby in one way or another. Well, right now, <clears throat> I've been president of Kiwanis twice, and I work on the um, road race every year. So the Qantas do the road race, and I've been involved with the road race every year. And then I, I was on the Shad Fest Bureau for probably about 25 years in one capacity or another. Well, it, it, <clears throat> there's a lot of really great civic organizations in, uh, in Windsor, and uh, the Qantas is just, is just one of them. And uh, what we like to say is the, uh, I have to keep putting plugs for the JCs because of John, but the Qantas are, are JCs with gray hair. 
and a very similar organization, and there's a lots, lots of other organizations the same way. They just do a great job in Windsor. Warren has been a member of the Windsor Kiwanis Club since April 1990. He joined the Kiwanis Club after retiring from the Windsor JCs, and he was a member of the Windsor JCs for 10 years. <laughs> While a member of the Windsor Kiwanis Club, Warren served two terms as president, one multiple year as secretary, and one multiple year term as treasurer. He also served as chairman for the past six years of the canoe race, a fundraiser for the food and fuel banks, four years as publicity chairman, and has been on numerous committees, including the Windsor Kiwanis 50th Anniversary Committee. He has been the Kiwanis represent representative to the Shad Fest Committee and the Kiwanis representative to the Shad Fest Bureau for nearly 20 years, including terms as secretary and treasurer. He has served as either a member or a chairman of the Shad Derby Kiwanis Roadway Race Committee since 1990. He is still active as a committee member. While a member of the Windsor JCs, he also served as president in 1984 and Shad Derby Parade chair Chairman in 1980. We are pleased to present the 2015 Shad Fest Honor representing the Windsor Kiwanis to Warren Cardone. the Windsor Historical Society was founded to get ready for the town's 300th anniversary coming up in 1933. Before that anniversary could come to pass, the Historical Society saved the then Filer House located along Palisado Green um, from being turned into a gas station. Um, that has been the home of the Windsor Historical Society since 1925. Um, and over the years, we've expanded just a bit. In 1962, um, we were the beneficiaries of L.P. Wilson's estate and were able to build a, uh, of course, brick building um, from the Wilson Brick Factories. Uh, to have a fire safe place to store um, all of the collections that had been donated over the years, as well as a meeting space so that the Windsor community could come together at the society. In 1990, we were able to expand those facilities to include a wonderful research library and exhibit galleries due to a large request from Marguerite Mills, whose home is uh, right up the street from where we are now. And in 1992, we began a wonderful partnership with the town of Windsor, where they own the historic Dr. Hezekiah Chafee House, also located along Palisado Green. But we have the chance to interpret the first floor um, as a historic home to Windsor residents and, uh, and tourists. Today, the society hosts public programs, we offer tours, we reach over 1,500 school, uh, school students here in Windsor with on-site and off-site programs. We also have our spectacular research library, which I would encourage you to come visit. And um, most recently, we've become really involved in town-wide events like the Northwest Park, as well as the Shad Derby. Well, I joined there in 1972. And once I retired, I started volunteering. That was 22 years ago. I went every Tuesday. I've spent there a lot of Tuesdays. Um, I started off at the desk as a docent, and then I got involved with the curator on the uh, collection. We spent seven years trying to figure out what we had there, and getting it recorded and stuff. And then uh, Shafee House came along in the town. So we didn't know anything about the Shafee family or anything, so I did all that research. That was the first that I had ever been involved in land records and things like that. So then when we found out we didn't have the Walter Filer house, I got involved with saying whose house did we have. So that was a lot of fun. We, we found it. So Christina asked me to, to read Bev's bio so she can have her arms free to, to hug her with both, with both hands. So, <laughs> so Beverly Garvin is a Windsor native and graduated from John Fitch High School in the class of 1947. She worked as product manager for the Fuller Brush Company for 28 years until they moved out of state. 
She joined Ad Advo as an account executive for 18 years and retired in 1993. Bev's family has lived in Windsor since 1856, and she believes that is where she acquired her love of history. Her Irish immigrant ancestors initially settled in Rockville to manage the mills there, but they moved to Windsor in 1856 to begin farming. Later, her family ran the grocery store in what is now the Taste of India building. Bev's father, Edward Garvin, was active with the Windsor Fire Company and spent many long hours at what is now the Union Street Tavern. Bev joined the Windsor Hist <laughs> Bev joined the Windsor Historical Society in 1972 and started volunteering soon after she had retired in 1993. She has been going there every Tuesday since for 22 years. She got involved with researching the old Windsor houses, especially the Chafee House and the Filer Strong Howard houses, and what a journey she has had. She says, it has made my retirement a busy, heartwarming experience. Bev is thrilled that the Windsor Historical Society has now become more involved in the Windsor community and with the town-wide events like the Shad Derby. We are pleased to present the 2015 Shadfest Honor representing the Windsor Historical Society to Beverly Garvin. Our final Shad Fest Honors honoree is from Win TV, Andre Haley. Win TV was incorporated in March of 1982 and is a nonprofit organization that's partially funded by your cable subscribe cable providers, Comcast and Frontier, no booing, um, as well as additional funding provided by grants and donations and fundraising from viewers like you. Their four part-time staff members help to keep residents informed about what's going on in Windsor. They provide residents with equipment training and education in the field of media. They provide local coverage of community events, school and government events, and they give Windsor's residents an opportunity to express their views on television, as well as enhancing diversity and understanding within the Windsor community. Plug right here. You can watch Win TV um, on Comcast, on Channel 5, on Channel 95, or on Channel 96 for the government, uh, government programs, and on Frontier on Channel 99. What Jenny did not think to share, which is also super critical, is that Win TV has been capturing on film Windsor's stories and preserving them for our future generation. In particular, they've been recording the Shad Derby events since 1988. And so we're so thankful, um, both for the town as well as for the historical society, to know that there are these additional resources that are capturing what's going on here in Windsor so that 30 years from now, 40 years from now, we're gonna be able to go to the Win TV archives and show you what each of you has been doing here in Windsor right now. So, thank you. I've uh, been involved since 2009. Um, originally came from Windsor High School doing television production stuff for Steve Hodges. And I just, at some point or another, was like, okay, I wanna, I wanna do something. I wanna get out there and see if there's any work I can do and be in touch with you guys. And that's how I started, so. It really does mean a lot. I, I'm excited. I, I, well, I was originally excited, and I, I still am ever since. I've, any type of work, I've always gotten involved. I've always put my full effort into 100% professionalism and everything into it. Um, it's my passion. It's really something I want to do for the rest of my life. So. It's a big community thing. I've noticed that. Um, it's definitely very important for Windsor. You know, it, it, it really does show our, you know, our colors of who we are as a people and how we are as a town and how we all come together for, you know, differences and whatever. And we. Basically, have a great time, and you know, it's good memories. It's good. Andre Haley was born in Hollywood, Florida, 
but grew up in Windsor and graduated Windsor High School in 2007. While working full-time, attending college part-time, Andre still found the time to volunteer as a digital editor and videographer at WinTV beginning in 2009. Andre worked on community events such as Concerts on the Green, Northwest Park Fairs, Chili Challenges, and of course, the Shad Derby Festival. Any of you here will recognize Andre from behind the camera at the Shad Derby Gala, the Coronation Ball, and the Parade and Festival. Andre says he loves being able to share his skills and give back to the town of Windsor. In 2011, he started his own freelance business called Andre Productions, specializing in videography for local businesses, schools, weddings, and more. He's planning on expanding that business to be a platform to help other local public access stations and major broadcast stations, as well as giving opportunities to local high school and college students. Andre loves to travel, especially to new states. His recent trip to California, he said, was an amazing experience to visit the capital of the entertainment business. Andre wishes to thank the town of Windsor and Win TV for giving him the opportunities to succeed and grow and for giving him the skills and a passion that he loves to do. And we are pleased to present the 2015 Shad Fest honor representing Win TV to Andre Haley. <laughs> 